refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Razaban IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast with me. The elder of the brothers is Paul Smith Jr. Paul, firstly, yep. how are we? I'm good, thanks, mate. You? I'm good, mate. I know we're going to be a bit rushed for time because Liam's going to bounce very shortly. Um, yeah, the rematch is on. I spoke to Liam back in Manchester ahead of the Akoli fight week and he said he was frustrated. I asked him today, he goes, I'm relieved. It's, I finally have a date. Whether it's Chris Uban Jr. or anybody else, I finally have a date. Um, everyone was interested to see what Chris Eubank Jr. was going to say. He had a lot to say in the previous one. Um, just your overall reaction, first of all. It's just um, a lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff, isn't it? And it, it's similar to the last one. You know, I was at that spa, what we kept sit talking about. I saw what happened, and he was just point-blank denying it. And I remember leaving that one thinking, if he genuinely believes that, then if there's a problem there, cause he's, or he's just deluded. But I think I'm on to him, I think I know what it is, it's just all tongue in cheek with him, it's all for the reaction, he's just said there, of course I've been buzzed in it, and he's saying like I've been down, and it was Liam that put him down in the spa, and it's Liam that obviously knocked him out in the fight, but I've said time and time again, look he's a good fighter, he's good at, at doing what he does, boxing wise, boxing IQ, ring craft, you know, pedigree, ring smarts, whatever you want to call it, then Liam ticks every single box. The only issue that we were worrying about in the previous fight, or that could be a possibility why it wouldn't be as as clear or a foregone conclusion as we thought it might have been, was the fact that he's got a good chin and Liam might not be strong enough at 160 against someone like him because he's been in with big men, but that was obviously put to bed as well. Liam's getting into this fight now knowing he can hurt him, so... I enjoyed that today. I thought it was all right. I thought the boat, you know, the pleasanties were there. It wasn't really as, as bitter or as angry as the previous one but I think in the previous one it was more Liam trying to sort of Liam's frustrated in the last one as we probably all were a little bit where we're thinking no hang on a minute Liam's the better fighter Liam's won the world title Liam's the former world champion the public the bookies are all seem to be side with Eubank the boxing people who knew the stuff were saying probably Liam probably points or late stoppage or something I thought it'd be a late stoppage if not points at all points was a safe bet if I, I'm a gambling man anyway so they've probably gone late stoppage they've probably been wrong but Bit of a shock how early it was, but the shots were there from the first bell. He's mentioned uh, about the elbow. I was everyone was curious to see if he was going to mention that. I know there was uh, a thought that they may make an official complaint, which they didn't. But were you, were you surprised that he mentioned the elbow? Why didn't he make official uh, an official complaint? Because it's a lot of bollocks. And anyone that knows boxing will tell you the same. And I'm sick of seeing people who've never been in a boxing ring on Twitter talking about an elbow. And I've said time and time again, I've done enough interviews on it, I've done enough sort of demonstrations and such, I've explained to people if you're going to hit someone with something from that close, the last thing you'd want to hit them with would be your elbow, you'd want to punch them full force in the face, obviously. It's just clutching at straws, obviously, tongue-in-cheek playing the villain, you know what he's like, but um, the elbows are loads of nonsense, absolute bollocks. Liam being the winner, how important is it for people like yourself and the rest of the family to make sure that he's fully focused on this? Because sometimes we, we've seen in the past and in boxing history where a fighter wins a fight, comes in the rematch, take his eye off the ball because it was too easy in the first fight. Massively. I think, I think you're right saying that Liam, Liam knows what he's got to do. He'd be a fool now to not keep his foot on the gas and, and, and really turn up and perform on, on the 17th of June. So he has, it's up to him and he's got to go and do it. You know, we can't drag him to the gym as brothers, as team, as, as team, as, as manager. None of us can force him to do it. He's got to do it himself. He's got to want to do it himself. He's got to focus his mind. He's got to knock that football in the head and just turn up and actually train and fight rather than you know what you're saying as you say if the possibility was there two tickets off the ball but no one leave as well as I do I don't think that's a that's a, an issue I don't think that's anything to worry about he won't take us off the ball he'll be, he'll be 100% what, Do you feel like Liam was number two on Chris Eubank Jr's list was Conor Ben the fight they wanted before everything that's happened in the last couple of weeks? Yeah probably yeah but the fight's never going to happen uh, and I don't think it'll ever be made and I think he, he probably didn't want to fight Liam because I think he just, you know, and, and that says it all to me. The fact you've chased the Conor, ben, the Conor Ben fight and not the man who's just knocked you out, who you think shouldn't have knocked you out, says it all to me. You should want to put that one right as a fighter or as a man, and he never. So, you know, that's, that speaks volumes about him. 
one thing you said to me about, um, do you want to get that? Go on, go on, see what he says. Um, Hello. 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 Um, just final two questions. Chris Eubank Jr., how much do you think can he change? Is he able to change or adapt for Liam Smith? In my opinion, no. I, I thought, I said before the last fight, he can't do much. He won't be able to fight for 12 rounds. He, he, he has to really be smart in his fight, and he wasn't smart in the fight. And in this one, again, uh, he can't outbox Liam for 12 rounds, and I don't think he can outfight him for 12 rounds because I don't think he's got 12 rounds in him. I've said that time and time again, and I'm still waiting for that to be proved right. So, no, I don't think he can do that. Final prediction, June 17th, what happens? Yeah. Same again. I think Liam by knockout, I think probably late. Go jump on the train. We'll see you in Manchester. Paul Smith, IFL TV. Thank you very much. to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shut, shut up about it. Uh, it. Must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 